this video is full of surprises. This morning I went out to shoot the Leica Q2 in the rain. Because, of course, it's waterproof and I wanted to show you what kind of cool stuff you can do while taking pictures in the rain. Then, after about three minutes, it stopped raining. I had planned something completely different. So now I'm on the road with the Leica Q2 in really boring light. The weather forecast was definitely different, otherwise I would never have planned to do it today. But hey, sometimes the plan doesn't work, then you need another plan. And I just decided to do a walk and just try to find cool subjects to do a Leica Q2 street photography episode. And it turns out it's uh, one of those days. It's one of those days where wherever you look, you're not inspired. And every time I took a photo, it somehow just, I didn't like it. I'm not happy with everything today. And then I realized I have the macro function on the Q2 lens. So I thought, this is a cool Leica episode. The Leica Q macro lens. Does it work for street photography? Let's figure it out. I would never have thought of that sitting on a desk. So I tried to do that. So let's talk about that lens a little bit. When you turn that little wheel from the dot to dot to the dot to macro setting, a whole new scale reveals itself. And there we now see that we can set manual focus from 0.17 to 0.30 meters. So 17 centimeters to 30 centimeters. Maybe it's even less because I can go over that a little bit. So maybe it's about 15 centimeters I can have as a minimal distance. So maybe it's even possible to have close focus at 15 centimeters. I would have to check that out. I actually didn't do that because it's all like happening on the fly. I checked it. I'm back in the editing room now so I could look it up. Of course, both the Q2 and the Q3 have the same lens. So minimum distance with the macro lens is 17 centimeters. Minimum distance for the regular setting is 30 centimeters. In macro mode, you are not able to go to infinity. It ends at 30 centimeters. Oh, 
Today is one of those days where I think there's not gonna be one good photo man. <laughs> but oops, here is something interesting. When you use the macro lens, you can use it with manual focus, but you can perfectly use it with autofocus as well. I had set my focus point on spot metering, so I had exactly a control over the spot I wanted to put in focus while using the autofocus. Otherwise, when you use the manual focus, you of course can zoom in six times digitally. And I had also turned on the focus help, so I could really see when I was like focusing on a leaf or on a drop of water, I could exactly see which one I put my focus on and where actually my focus is. Not street photography now, it's more garden photography. But hey, it's one of those days. You have to try out stuff and uh, who knows what's gonna happen. Why not? From well, now the rain starts again. So maybe I can do like a combo video. But of course now when the rain starts again, I'm under a tree and in a tunnel. I have the feeling street photography with a macro lens it's not the best thing you can do. Maybe it's just me and my capability today, but uh, I somehow found like one or two moments where I really thought, mm, okay, that's a cool picture and uh, it qualifies for classic street photography. I mean, okay, I was on the street all day and I took pictures, so maybe this also qualifies for street photography. In the end, I would say the intentions were good and I tried to still be creative. I mean, sometimes it does not go as planned. When I decided to call it a day, I realized that also my battery from my 360 Insta camera also died and I couldn't do the vlogging with my Insta camera. So I decided I'm gonna give the Q2 a try if I could use the Q2 as a vlogging camera. And surprisingly, it worked really well. I realized it's actually pretty good. So I think if it really looks that good on my computer, I'm gonna immediately sell my Sony CVE-10 and I'm gonna use my Leica Q2 as my backup vlogging camera. I'm really surprised that it really works and because it doesn't have that autofocus of the Q3. But hey, I'm, I'm totally excited right now. You're probably wondering why didn't he finish the whole video on the Q2? It's because the battery died as well and the chip was also full because I only took a 32 gigabyte chip because I never intended to do a video. So another surprise that happened that day. But honestly, the big surprise for me today is that I could really use the Q2 to vlog for vlogging. Of course, it lost sometimes my focus because it has not the best autofocus, but when you have enough light and when you're not moving that fast, it's really working as a vlogging camera. And I decided today to sell my Sony, which was my backup vlogging camera. So um, now I'm shooting on the Panasonic S52X, which is my main vlogging camera. But my backup vlogging camera from now on will be the Leica Q2. And the money I'm gonna get from selling the Sony, I would put it in a shoebox. And when the day comes and I have enough money saved up to turn my Q2 in for a Q3, I will use exactly that money for the part of the amount that is missing then. This was my rather spontaneous video, a little bit chaotic, I'm sorry, but I hope you still enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, please like it and consider subscribing to not miss the next video, which I promise will be more planned out. Thank you for watching, stay curious.